guys, welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be doing a video that I don't normally share this type of content over on my channel, but I have wanted to do this one for a really, really long time. And today, the day that I'm filming this video, my son is actually turning one years old today. So it's a really special day and I thought this would be the perfect time to do a nursery tour. This is one of my very favorite rooms of the entire house. And I have done some really special pieces of artwork that I wanna share with you today. I will do my very best to try and link all the products that I can from this nursery tour. Um, I'm going to go through the room today. I'm going to kind of share with you the progress that I did from like start to finish. I just should also note too that his room is totally a work in progress still. And so if you are also trying to plan a nursery or any type of room in your home, just know that you don't need to get it all done before baby gets here. At least that's not how I did it. And truth be told, uh, my son really didn't sleep the majority of his first year up here in his bedroom. It just didn't work out that great for the flow and having to come all the way upstairs to uh, tend to him in the middle of the night. So in reality, this room is still fairly new to him. He is sleeping up here now, so it's really, really sweet. So without further ado, I cannot wait to share with you guys my son's woodland nursery. So here's his room as it is right now, pretty much finished, and I will try to show you a before picture of what this room looked like. You'll have to bear with me because the lighting in here is really difficult. We have one uh, window in this room and it's obviously very dark with the wood, so sometimes the lighting makes it look kind of difficult. So what we did first is we actually did a stencil on this feature wall back here where his dresser is. And I had researched for a very long time to see if I could do wallpaper. I kind of knew that I wanted to do a board and batten style on the lower half of this wall, but I, and then I also wanted to incorporate some type of woodland nature um, wallpaper, but I honestly, I don't know. I went down the rabbit hole of, for months searching for wallpaper and I would find such beautiful ones, but I wasn't sure if I completely loved them. And I also was very intimidated by hanging wallpaper. So I decided all of a sudden it popped into my mind that I could try a stencil with paint and that way it would be less permanent when I go to update the room in the future. And that's what I did is I ordered this stencil that I will try to link down below. And it is the cutest little woodland nature stencil. And I decided to create it in a more gender neutral. So I picked colors that were really neutral, which is unlike me, but I thought I kind of looked at inspiration and found that some of these really neutral uh, walls were really fun to create shelving and other types of art and decor on top of them. So it's just a subtle backdrop and I really, really love how this wall turned out. What I did first was paint a kind of a creamy white base on the wall and then I stenciled over top with a bright white paint. And so it was very easy. My mom and I tackled this project one day and we were able to get it all done. But what I will say is that I only did it on one wall. So it was kind of hard to get into the nooks and crannies along like the, the top board there as well or along the ceiling as well as kind of around the closet. So instead of trying to bring it all the way around the French doors, I decided to go ahead and just paint this one wall with the stencil. So then on the lower half, we have a khaki tan color of board and batten that we just did ourselves. And another super easy project, if you are a fairly beginner carpenter, DIYer, this project was super easy for us to do. We just bought, um, I actually looked up a video or a tutorial in a video on Pinterest and was able to find kind of the general dimensions of what somebody else had used for board and batten. So I think this is like a three inch wide board up top here, a one inch going down and maybe I have like a four inch along the baseboard. Um, but I painted the wall, the tan khaki color first on the lower half. 
I also painted the boards on their own separate before I actually, or my husband and I actually tacked them up after they were fully painted. So I just think that board and batten look makes the room feel more dynamic and at high end. I just love that depth that a board and batten can create. I also love that it divided this wall up and it wasn't so much pattern. So it was kind of a little bit above halfway and it actually worked out because I was trying my best to kind of not have to go around this outlet. So I put the um, Borton Batten right above that. And so I am just so in love with how that feature wall turned out for him. So then the next thing was picking out the extra little touches in the decor for this wall. So what I decided to do was pick out these lighter wood uh, shelves that I found on Amazon. And I have one facing upside down where I'm able to hang little outfits here for him, as well as one that is faced straight up. And then that holds his little um, Hazel Village animals, which I am obsessed with and highly recommend them. They are an amazing um, company and I will definitely link them below. And then I added a cute little book up here and I thought that was just the cutest little extra woodland touch for his room. And then over here in the shelf, I was able to put his little birth announcement that I did. I created this for my Instagram post. So that goes up there as well as these little shoes that I bought for him and then just a little plant just to add a little bit more of the green and I think they just turned out so cute. The other thing that I'm really happy that I did was pick out a lighter wood just to kind of give a little bit of a variety where I don't have to always be married to the really dark um, orangey tones that we have in our house. So that is something that I'm so happy that I did as well. And then over here, I guess I just want to mention that I was able to finally finish this project where I stitched his little name or his nickname Benny on this little tan sweater that we bought for him before he was even born. So and then there's actually this spot right here on this feature wall that I've really been dreaming up some ideas of an, an art piece that I would like to do this year for him and it would go right here and it would cover up again some of this stencil work that I absolutely love but I think you'll still see plenty of stencil um, so anyways yeah I have a, a really really fun and special idea to paint for him um, and frame right here so then also on this one wall, we have his dresser, which I definitely did a little bit of a splurge for his dresser. Um, I bought it where it was fully assembled because we were getting kind of tired of having to make furniture as you probably can relate. Sometimes making furniture gets a little old. So I had it already pre-made and that way we just had to put the legs on and we brought it right back upstairs. So I also switched out the drawer pulls for this light wood knob, which I think adds that extra special touch for his room of that light wood color. And then up here is where I have put a changing pad. We have the hatch changing pad, which was amazing, especially in those first few weeks of being able to weigh your baby. And so I'll leave a link for that below. It's super easy to wipe it right off. And so, yeah, highly would recommend this changing pad here um, that has an app that goes with it and you can record your baby's weight and um, a bunch of other things too. Then I just have this little caddy here. Again, we haven't really moved him fully in here. We have another changing station downstairs. And then over here, I've just added a few little touches, um, some things that he's been gifted in this light wood bringing in that same light wood uh, touches to his room. These little animals, I got him for Christmas that he likes to just kind of clank around when I change him is really helpful. I have the uh, uh, Studio McGee from Target, this green floor lamp, which I've seen in other people's nurseries and it is so beautiful. Here, I just turned off the lights so you can get a better look at the color. It is this really pretty sagey, olivey color lamp. So I highly recommend if you are looking to add touches of green to your rooms, this lamp, if they still offer it, I will link it below, but it is such a beautiful um, little statement lamp. So here's this closet. So it has that same khaki color that runs right up the actual trim as well as I painted the doors of the uh, closet and if you get to see the before picture it makes a world of difference to make it 
just lighter and brighter like this. I think that was a huge game changer for the design of the space. I also included the little uh, wood knobs that also match the dresser. Um, I do not have a good example to share with you for organization in the closet yet. I have not gotten to that project, but maybe in a future video if you're interested, um, I will show a more organized closet as well as an organized dresser for him. Okay, so moving on to this back wall, this is the wall that you see when you first enter the room. And this is where his crib sits, as you can see. And this crib has been a really great purchase. I can really recommend this crib because what you can't see right now is that it actually becomes a smaller crib. I believe it's called the Yuzu crib. We bought it from Baby Leto, but you can uh, build it to different sizes. So it can come in a bassinet size, but what we did was build it into the midi size, which is kind of like a larger pack and play size. And then it'll eventually become the crib here. And then right here hanging on the crib, which normally does not hang here when he's in that crib, is this beautiful quilt that my mom made for him. She was actually able to embroider a bunch of fun animals. And this is really just a fun keepsake for him to have um, his baby blanket, one of his really special ones we included down here, his name and some of his birth details. And so yeah, I really, really love this quilt here this quilt is able to tie in the greens that are also the same in the lamp and a few other places as well. And so then right above his crib is one of my very favorite paintings that I've ever done and that is this nature themed painting that I actually drew inspiration from photos that I've taken on our fly fishing adventures. So I was able to kind of compile a couple different scenes that I've um, taken photos of. So of course I had to include a stream and then I also put the bluffs in the background and then one of the photos had this beautiful golden color field. So I kind of incorporated all three of those and then I just had some fun and then put a really big tree in the forefront and his little initials carved into the tree trunk there. I really loved how the looseness of this painting turned out. It's like that storybook feel. I actually used a paint called gouache. It is more opaque and so it layers more like an acrylic, which I thought was a really fun look for a little kid's bedroom and a storybook piece of artwork. And so then when I got this framed, this wasn't the exact frame that I had hoped to have for him. I actually really wanted to do a light wood just to bring in that accent color that we've had in a few other places in his room. But unfortunately, the local framer shop did not have a light wood or raw wood. Um, so instead, I just went with one that really matched the wall. And then it really helped to emphasize that nice white storybook theme painting edge that I created for this painting. The other thing too that I opted out of was including any type of glass for the front of the frame. And I think I just wanted that mostly because in case I decided to ever add more to the painting, I could do that in the future. I wasn't sure if I was actually fully done. As of right now, it feels okay. Like I really love the way that it is and that how it's turned out. But I think that I could potentially add some more to it if I wanted to in the future. The other thing is that I love the no glare. So it's far enough above his crib where he really shouldn't be able to touch it or mess with it. So I wasn't worried about it getting dirty. So what I couldn't show you when I was standing over there is this uh, fuzzy sheepskin rug, which I think just gives the essence of a woodland theme. It kind of also brings in the Scandinavian vibe that I was kind of going for, a nice neutral touch. So I'm really happy with this little extra fun fluffy rug that sits right in front. It's very unnecessary, but I think it just adds that really extra fun special touch. So then over here in this corner, right beside his crib is one of the Billy bookcases that I decided to put from Ikea in this corner, kind of coming out at, the, at an angle. I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do over here and I thought just having something white and to help break up this wood would be really helpful. So this bookcase, of course, is a very affordable option 
and it's a great spot to be able to actually put books for him, some toys, and then also just to have some fun with shelf styling. I have a whole variety of little things going on in here, and I actually would like to work on styling it some more, but I love this little bunny because it is so soft, so I think he'll actually play with that once he gets a little bit older. Then on this shelf is really special. It is a little gift that my parents bought for him when they went over to Amsterdam. This is created by an actual um, Amsterdam artist. And so I will try to link that down below. It is the cutest little story, it comes with a book. And then they have these cute little characters, Julia and Sam. And then I just decided to include a little plant, faux plant up here. I know a lot of people do those faux trees, which I would have loved to do. And I think that would have been a really great touch for a woodland nursery. But instead I opted for just a long hanging uh, faux plant. So now working our way over here on this side of the bookshelf is kind of a fun little side that I'm still working on and over here I've decided to put another floating shelf because I feel like you could just never have enough shelves or pictures. So as you can see here is my Winnie the Pooh. I did a little paint with me tutorial on my channel that you can check out. I will also link that here and below if you want to also paint along with this one. And this is where I've decided to put that as well as another little keepsake photo of his handprint and his footprint. Uh, this little piece here was bought by his grandma or my mom um, at one of uh, like a winter market and it just looks cute hey, or sitting there all year round I think. Um, over here I knew that I needed another light source for this room. It's hard to tell of course uh, through the camera but it's just so dark. So this is one that I found um, from I believe World Market. And it is this brassy color up top here and it's got this little fluted uh, glass globe that kind of looks like a flower. So bringing in more of that nature theme. And then right here, I actually am hoping to paint this piece in the future, but it is something that's really special. It is this old childhood desk that came from my mom and I believe her siblings also used this desk. It's got this really pretty uh, wood carving of these two birds in here and some nature leaves and whatnot. So I think it would be really great if I were to paint this just another neutral color like a light cream or white, just one of the other paint colors that I've used on the walls to help it pop because it really matches the color of the wood behind it. But I haven't gotten to that yet, just haven't decided what color exactly I want to paint it. Then up top here I decided to go ahead and just put a few little trinkets and fun little books. This is one of my favorite artists. It is by Tabitha Page and I will also link her down below. She both writes and illustrates these books that she creates and they not only are the cutest little stories, they are beautiful illustrated. And then I included my little Beanie Babies, Woodland Beanie Babies that of course we all had to have back in the day. Um, so that's where those are right here. This little mushroom here, this little mushroom right here is actually one that I bought at Hobby Lobby during the Christmas season and I bought a few of them. I wasn't sure if maybe I would create a um, mobile or if I was actually going to just use them as decor pieces right now, they're just kind of sprinkled around. You probably have seen a few already in the video, but I really love them because they have that light wood base and it just brings in that light wood that I've also been trying to incorporate. Okay, so moving to this side of the room where I put our little rocking chair. Um, this is where the window is, as you can tell, but I have found the most perfect curtains for his room and they are this light, tan and medium like khaki color buffalo check and I have wanted buffalo check for his room for I didn't know if I wanted it on the rug or on the curtains but when I saw these curtains I decided I better go with the buffalo check on the curtains. I just quick turned off the lights so it's not casting any orange hue to them but aren't they so beautiful so they're just this light tan and khaki tan color they really uh, complement that feature wall that I have over there. And so those are the curtains that I'm so happy with. So then over here we have our rocking chair and it is a very comfortable chair. It's this light gray 
um, material also purchased through Baby Little, and I believe you can buy it in a couple different other retailers online or I'm sure in store as well. Um, I, I really do like it. Definitely comfortable. I had looked online and researched for a very long time for what type of chair that I wanted to get for our rocking chair or glider or whatever you need for rocking a baby to sleep and nursing them. So, um, but I will say that I don't know if I would purchase this chair again because even though it is so comfortable, the little wooden pieces that the like are the actual rocking piece, it just now that our baby is now that he is crawling it's another dangerous piece to have in the room that I have to really watch him because he likes to crawl under the chair um, he can if he's not watching where he's crawling hit his head on kind of this sharp edged um, piece of wood and not that it would hurt him that hard that bad or anything it's still something though that I'm like oh I just wish that's one less thing I had to worry about in this room so the other thing that gets a little bit frustrating is that whenever you stand up, I don't really know if this applies to other rockers or if it's just this wood base, but uh, when you stand up, the chair slides backwards. So you have to be really cautious in how you stand up out of it or it can rack back really hard into the wall. Um, so another thing that kind of is a bummer, I tried putting like nonstick tape or non-slip tape underneath it doesn't seem to be helping it so I don't know if it's just our wood like the wood on the wood floor that makes it slide really easily or if a carpet would help it I don't really know so I would probably opt for a glider in some type of recliner and I know that a lot of people had recommended that but I just loved this is what I get for loving the design of this chair but needless to say, it's a beautifully designed chair and it's just maybe not as functional as I wish it would have been. So while I'm on the topic of just pros and cons of some of these items that I have in his room, the dresser is amazing. It is such great quality and it's a beautiful color. I love that it came fully assembled. The only one thing that I'm still like now a little bit bummed and I know it's going to be a short time period in our life to really think that this is a big deal. But when you have a baby that is crawling, this little sharp corner down here, instead of having a, a dresser that goes all the way to the floor, you have a little corner that's elevated. Again, they can kind of get under there or they could hit their head on this corner. So just another thing to think about that seems to be a little bit of a bummer in my opinion. So back here behind his chair, I have a really special piece that I wanna share with you. And so this piece right here is a old book page from a what I think is a, a vintage dog breed book that I had growing up as a little girl. And in it was a page uh, dedicated to an English setter and explaining about the history of the breed and whatnot. So it also has these really cool illustrations and it was just the perfect color to put in his room. And it's also a very special piece because we have an English setter and Dawes, our English setter is a very important member of our family. So such a fun little add to his room in my opinion. So this uh, art piece right here, this alphabet that I did, this woodland alphabet is one that I created for him before he was born. And it's actually available for purchase over in my Etsy shop that I will link below here. And I love that I put it in this light wood frame. I was able to then bring in some more of those light wood, raw wood touches. I've had that alphabet, like the actual letters have been painted for a long time and I just never have done anything with them. So I painted a bunch of woodland animals and this is the ABC poster um, piece that I've created for his room as well as available for purchase over in my Etsy shop. Okay friends, that concludes today's nursery tour. I hope you truly enjoyed this space and coming with me behind the scenes and a little peek into our home life here. 
and it was just such a special thing for me to do and to be able to share with you what I've been working on in this room for him over the last year now or more. I cannot believe he is a year old already. And it's just such a fun, creative little outlet space for me as well. I am so happy with how it's been turning out. I'd love to hear any fun suggestions that you might have, little additions. I'm always looking for ideas and how I can kind of add and tweak this little room here for him. Um, if you have uh, kids or a nursery that you've also done, I would love any recommendations. So let me know in the comments below. And I just wanna ensure you that if you are still working on a space, if you are not done with your nursery and your baby is coming soon, do not worry about getting it all finished before they arrive. I am just still working at it and I love actually that process of being able to add to it as the time goes on and I get to see him grow into this room, so. Thank you so much for being here. I so appreciate you guys, and I cannot wait to paint with you in a next video. Bye.